Hello viewers and welcome to another Doctor Who action figure review. And today I'll be reviewing the War Doctor action figure as played by John Hurt as we see from the episode The Day of the Doctor. Um, so let's crack on. Let's take the accessories away. I'll take his screwdriver away. Right, there we are. So this is the Doctor. And before I start, I need to just say that this is one of my favourite New Who action figures that has been created and what I've got. I think this figure is the best for detail and I think character options um, did a really good job on creating this. So if you look at the face, without a doubt, you can see it's John Hurt. It looks just like him. The hair, from all angles, it's a light grey, dark grey wash to fill in the details. The spikiness is really good. He's captured the wrinkles, not with Peter Capaldi figure or Missy figure or anything. It's, oh, you can see how old he looks and how tired he looks from the war by his eyes. And even his beard here, they've even managed to do the split between his beard. Just there, underneath. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, they've even gone to the cause of doing that. We've gone like with the sagginess in his eyes and ah, oh, it's so good this figure and the wrinkles on his forehead and it's so good. I mean, look at it. You can't fault it, can you? That is really good. Um, the scarf is like a maroon colour with light blue stripes going across it which is very nice um it's wearing his wearing the strap that um the eighth doctor oh no it's not the eighth doctor you know the eighth doctor didn't even put it on he put it on that he put it on in the night of the doctor which is really nice you can see that there's pockets sculpted on where the pocket watch um can end up going it's Really nice sculpt to that. Nice silver colour. The costume in his coat or the shirt is a really nice sculpt, which is like plain browny green colour with silver buttons on, which is a really nice touch. And they've even gone to the lengths of making in um, the belt. Which is also really good. Um, so let's have a look at the coat. The coat is a very, very nice piece. It's one of my favourite coats of any Doctor in action figure form for detail. You can see the battered leather look. All the sand and the... Oh, it's a really good figure, this. Um, you can see... Details in pockets right there. It's basically like a browny leathery colour with an orangey brown wash to give a sandy look of um, Gallifrey. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. It's, it's, it's a very, very thin coat, but uh, it's really good. If only thicker, it'd look really big. Um, his trousers are a brown. You can also see that a button is undone or a buckle is undone, which is good because you can see his extra details underneath there, which is nice. His shoes are just a plain black by the looks of it. So, oh, that brown. Um, so that's John Hurt. Next is an accessory that we've never seen before well everything's that we've never seen before but a sonic screwdriver that we haven't seen before now which is this 
have to hold it just there. Let's lay it on my hands there. It's a really good sculpt. It's I think it's exactly how it is on program. Silver with the red end and you can see the beat why, why did I say that? You can see the details, not the beetles. The details. So this is a sonic screwdriver. It's got very nice details. Silver with a red end. I think it's accurate. But it's very, very nice sculpt. And it goes into his hand this way. So the silver's pointing up, not the red. People get confused with that, which is annoying if they're making adventures or anything. And it goes nicely in his hand like that. Um, so the next accessory is the moment. And this is one of the best accessories for detail I've ever got. Look at, look at the detail. So, each face of this box is different. Um, it's got Gallifrey text going along the sides of each box with some, what shall I call them, hinges. Each side has really good detail. Ah. Uh, oh. Wow, it's really good. I like the size, but it's a bit big if you want to recreate the scene of the doctor going into the barn, because uh, he, he can't really carry it. I'm not, I'm not going to try it. I tried it before and he fell over. <laughs> it's too heavy for the doctor, but uh, it's so good. And it, if you put it next to him, I like it that way around. Put it right next to him. I think he looks really good with it. Don't you think? <laughs> Yep, so last but not least is a head, and what about, and what I mean by that is, Paul McGann's head, a new sculpt for him. Now this is really good, but not accurate to what it should be, because this is actually the 8th Doctor from Dark Eyes. This is not how the Doctor looks when he's about to regenerate. He's got like the... Ugh, I can't explain it while I'm explaining hair. But anyway, um, it looks like Paul McGann in the face. Oh, see if I can focus that. Oh, I've just put it in my hands like that. Right. It looks like Paul McGann in the face. It's, the hair is from Dark Eyes. Um, but it's really nice to have this variation of Paul McGann. And what you can do with this is put it on the John Hurt body. And also, the scarf is removable. I'll show you that now. So you can pull his head off. Oh, like so. His scarf went a bit jumpy then. Let's put his head on there. So yeah, you can put, take his scarf off and you can see the detail of his shirt that he's got on there. And you can put this head on. Like that. That didn't take me long. It looks really good, but... Uh, is there something that... Oh, I don't know, I can't explain it. There's something not right, it just don't look right, I think. It just doesn't suit the head. The body looks too big for the head, but it might just be me, but... That's what I think. I haven't got the 8th Doctor from Night of the Doctor when he's in the accurate costume for him, as this is not accurate. But if I did ever get that, I'd review it. Um, but, I don't know what it is, something's just not right. Um, but now, I, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm going to try and put 
I'm gonna try and swap the heads with the TV movie palm again, which is this one here. I've never tried this, so uh, let's see if it works. I usually try it before the review, but so let's try this head on there first. These two cannot go together because the pegs are different sizes. Let's try putting this on there. And this, these two can't go together because his hair's in the way. So that can never happen. So I'll just put this in there. So I think that does it for this review. I think this is a really good figure for detail. It's the best new series figure. Or the best figure I've ever got for detail. Including a very the most detailed accessory I've ever got, and for a new sculpt and a new doctor figure, <laughs> you can't get any better than this. Um, so next, <laughs> I don't believe I'm even going to say this, but next review is going to be the thirteen doctor set. You heard me right. The 13 Doctors set. A very rare limited edition set. Um, only 4,000. I don't know if you think it's in the world. And I haven't had a chance to look at it yet, but when I do, I'm going to review it straight away. I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to show you. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever say those words ever, because I didn't think I'd ever going to get it, but... Yes, gotta go. If you enjoyed this review, please comment, like and subscribe for more videos.